How do you graph the line x equals 7? Well, the first thing that I want you to note here is that there is no y in this equation at all. I've personally memorized that when there's no y in the equation, it is a vertical line. That is one that goes straight up and down. What that means is I want you to draw your grid. You may already have it drawn for you. Label your x-axis with some numbers. Here's 2, 4, 6, and 8. And this line starts at x equals 7. Get it? 7 on the x-axis. And then goes straight up and down from there. There is me having graphed the line, but I want, you to sh I want to show you why it's important that there's no y in this equation. Often your lines will be y equals something times x plus or minus something else. You know, y equals mx plus b form or standard form, which have x and y on the same side of the equation. But let's take a look at what points are actually a part of this line. There's this point here. What are the coordinates of that point? Well, it's here at 7 on the x-axis and 4 on the y-axis. This point here is at 7, 2. This x-axis is 7, 1. Uh, this point here is 7, negative 3. And there's some here at the decimal values, too, that I'm not showing you. Maybe 7, negative 1.5. What do all of these have in common? Well, maybe it's obvious to you now, but what they have in common is that all of the x's are exactly 7. Get it? x is 7 is what's defining the set of points that are on this line. But what can y be? Well, y can be anything because there's no limitation put on it by the equation. There's nothing that here in x equals 7 that tells you what y has to be. So y can be any of these numbers, and indeed they are. It goes down to negative a million, up to positive 5 billion, etc. A line, x equals some whole number, is always going to be a vertical line, and it's going to pass through the x-axis at that number, just like this one did. Thanks for graphing with me, and best of luck.